start over again. So that's the warrior's life cycle symbol. Then we have the shaman life cycle symbol, which is a little bit different. The main difference is uh, that a shaman, he, he puts his um, tonal and nagual, this is his left, his left side is his nagual, his right side is his tonal. So both body and spirit are the same, they are part of the same energy. So this pyramid represents when a warrior becomes a shaman, he jumps to a higher level of consciousness. And then, but he also needs to learn other lessons. He needs to climb higher levels. But in order to go up, he needs to go down and inside. It has the form of a snail because this, this snail or, you know, it teaches that the best thing of it is in the inside. The teaching is that everything we need to know or everything we need to have in order to be happy, we already have it, we already know it. We have to dive within, we have to search in within. And then uh, the, word, uh, the shaman's life cycle symbol, it's also a geometric pattern. You can see the diamond here. Later I'm gonna talk about the diamond and the eye of God. But another thing you, I want you to notice is that uh, the symmetry of the figure forms like a butterfly pattern. So, a, a shaman, he has won a battle against death. So, that means he, he decides when to die. And uh, when he dies, he, it's, it's when he has decided to return to the main source of energy, which is represented by the symbol of the, the sun, which is a cross. So the sun is the main source of energy and life for humans. So I think also, maybe that's why it was easier to introduce the new religion, the Catholic religion, because we have the symbol of the cross and the cross of Jesus Christ. So that's part of the explanation, I guess. So, <clears throat> in order to become a shaman, you have to see the world from the eye of God, which is a diamond pattern. You can see that pattern on this rug as well. So, um, we know that the belly bottom, it's the center of our body that unifies all the energies that we have so from the belly bottom to our head we have the bird energy the spiritual energy from the belly bottom <clears throat> sorry, to our legs we have the snake energy and all of the organs like the reproductive organs there are they hold the material energy you know, the reproduction, and then like our brain or heart, they hold like the spiritual energy or emotions or gut. So in life, we need to balance both the bird and the snake. And if you happen to visit some of the museums in Oaxaca or here in Teotitlan, you can see figures of Zapotecs in in a meditation position like you know buddhists because it's it's basically the same idea you need to balance the snake the energy of the snake and the bird through breathing and meditation so they also say that you can pull the snake through your spine and then pull that energy up and then 
also the burn energy in your head like pull it up to, to your aura and then mix them and then when you balance both energies you can become a feather snake a Quetzalcoatl but we also have our left and right side which represents uh, our male and female part like the yin and yang it's like the same idea so when we have balanced the four energies in our body then uh, you can see the world from the eye of God which is this diamond and all of these shades so uh, when you see the world from the eye of God uh, you can see how the energy flows in the universe you can see that people are not just skin and bone so 